Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. It's I'm R100, and we're back with some more Splatoon. Um, we're gonna be heading on to, or Splatoon 2 actually. We're gonna be heading on to the single player, which, if you can remember last time, started in a sewer, and we're going to a sewer again. So, that's kind of a hint, along with what was already hinted at. Hmm. The Octarians. Hey. You showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. I'm Mari. I know you're probably a bit starstruck, but I need you to get over it. Yeah, I'm that Mari. You know, from the Squid Sisters. You've never heard of me? For eel? <laughs> Get it? Puns. Well, you obviously aren't very cultured, but you'll have to do. See, I've got a little thing I need some help with. But now you've heard that the great zapfish that powers Ngopolis Square is missing. Well, it's not just missing, it's been squidnapped by the Octarian Menace. How do I know this? On the surface, I may look like an absurdly talented pop star. But in truth, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. A secret society of heroes who save the hero of uh, the, the hero, the world of Octarians. Now I've been trying to keep an eye on the Octarians in my downtime, but I'm a busy girl. If only Kelly was around to lend a hand. Ahem. I need you to get the great zatfish back from the slimy Alt Octarians. What do you say? Are you in? Uh, <laughs> so... I'll take your awkward silence as a yes. Welcome aboard. You are now Agent 4 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. I even bought you a brand new hero suit as a signing bonus. Look at it. If it's like a glove. Not bad for a hand-me-down. Well, that's a lie that you bought a new one then. Now let's go and tear those Octarians limb from limb from limb from limb from limb from... Well, you get the picture. Oh yeah, those entrances to the Octarian realm are invisible, so you have to ink them to reveal them. So, again, this is pretty much just like the original, uh, the original single player from the first game. In that one, we were Agent 3, so now we're Agent 4, we're, we're a different person. And we, instead of having Captain Cuttlefish, we have Mari. It's kind of weird. Well, not weird, as we'll see later why the reason it's not, uh, Captain Cuttlefish. They're doing something. We got this little chest thing over here. Container. Uh, we got these. These are little targets based off of the enemies. We got the normal enemy, dies in two hits. The enemy with two tentacles, they usually like shoot more. That, that was like about four. Then we got shielded enemies. These are different from the first game and we'll get onto that later. I'm not even going to count how many of that was, because I didn't try. And we're also going to do what we did the first, well, in the first game. No, no, you know, before we skipped it. We're going to look for all the entrances before we go on to level 1. There's something a bit different about this game, which is, if I can find it, yes. These balloons that have question marks. If you shoot this, it'll make a new one, and you gotta follow it. Hopefully we can, uh, hit all of them. Okay, get up there. Get up there, get up, get. There you go. 
We got a sunken scroll already. Just like the first game, well, kind of different from the first game. We have, at the end of the book, uh, this one kind of page that has a lot of space that we've only gotten a little bit of. Welcome to Octo Canyon, the world's most gorgeous gorge. <laughs> Collect all the commemorative souvenir stickers. So we got a souvenir sticker. As you can see, we have a lot of levels that we have to do. Again, like the first game, it pretty much tells us how many levels there's going to be. So there's 27. Kind of... I, I think that's shorter than the first game. But as I've mentioned before, there is a whole DLC. And then we got this blue balloon. That separates into multiple balloons. If you break all of them... You just get a ton of eggs. So, yeah. This little area, surrounded by uh, a fence of some kind. We can get in through a uh, squid. And there's another one. Swim up here. Get over here. And we have another different thing about this game. Around every hub world, you can find one of these. This is a Sardinium that we don't have a use for yet, but we will be using those in the future. Hope hopefully we can find all of them. I can't promise it. And then we got our last one. Let's go into the first one and see how many we can uh, get done in this video. Unlike the first game, we're also going to be doing kind of a different, like, schedule for what we do in these videos. Like what we did before was one video of a single player, then we did online, then we did amiibo. Amiibos don't really do anything in this game. They aren't what they did, like, what they did in the first game, they would make it to where the level that you did before is now you use it with a different weapon. They don't do that anymore. So instead of that, we're going to be doing a different mini game, I guess. This is a shield enemy. They are different from the first game, as in you do, they do not get distracted from the bombs. How do you defeat them? Well, you can keep throwing bombs behind them. Or, you can sh straight up shoot their shield until you run out of ink, and then you can shoot them. So, I, they're different. I, I can't really tell if they're more or less annoying than the first game. And then we got these, which are... Uh, I don't know if they're called squid rings or calamari rings, but they're just straight up squid. Can shoot a bomb over there, get rid of the crates. And shoot another one to get rid of three of them. Come on, please. There you go. Please don't make me have to refill my ink after every enemy I kill. Again, just like the first game, we have a vault that we need to find a key for. The area split into two. We're gonna head this way. Wait. Okay, I was a bit scared that my uh, right stick was drifting. Oh, that would have been bad. It was moving a bit more than I thought it was. It's not doing it anymore, so that's good. Okay. Uh, this side doesn't have a blowfish. So, we can't really explode it all. The boxes contain some enemies. And then we got this one, which is surrounded in 
is that supposed to be tape? It's, it's harder to break open, but there's the key. We got armor just like the first game. Armor protects you from uh, a hit or multiple hits, as I'll show off there. Something I forgot to mention, if you get hit, you don't die. You lose armor that you already have. So you just normally have armor that will, after a few minutes or a few seconds, will uh, come back. While your normal armor is gone, you will be much slower and die to literally any hit. Any hit that you take of any ink will kill you in that state. Let me just throw that there. Oh, wait, they do get distracted by the bombs. Okay, I don't know why I thought they didn't or why they didn't earlier. Okay, let's get up here, get the Sardinium. We got some balloons. Don't look down. No, well, I did. Don't tell me how to live my life. Okay, let's hit the blowfish. If you go over here, you'll find the sea scroll. Sunken scroll, whatever they call it. I don't know where it is, but uh, there is literally a bit of text in the game uh, where Callie literally just like says, I mean, not Callie, Mari says, Wow, you really are a completionist when you're just looking around all over the place for like a sunken scroll or something. It's hilarious. I love it. We have found a can of special. Thing about this game I haven't gotten to, to yet. All of the specials are new. There is not a single one that has returned. This is one of them. This is a new one. Tenta missiles. You can lock on to, I'm guessing five? Five targets. Which, of course, you can only lock onto five targets in single player since <laughs> there aren't five people you can play against in multiplayer. After doing all that, we got all of these keys, open up all our ways, and we got to the zapfish that we can just break open with a bomb. So we did it, that was level one, pretty, uh, it's long compared to some levels that we've done in the first game, I'm just gonna say that. A shockwave struck while one young lady was performing at the recent youth folk singing contest, doing damage to the venue. Unfortun fortunately, no one was injured. So, as we can see here, we got a little backstory. Um, this girl seems to look pretty familiar. They're obviously talking about uh, Pearl from off the hook. Forgot to read the name of that level. Oh, I forgot to read the name of the first level too. <laughs> Hopefully we can finish this level before the end of the video. Welcome to Octopia, the summer wind rises. So this level, as you can see, we have sponges. Sponges you uh, soak up in ink. Something new, and well, and they grow. Something new is these sp sponges. As you can see, they are connected. If I shoot one, it increases both of them. So that's that's pretty cool.
I gotta look all around, look for that. Look, look for the stuff. Because I don't remember where all of it is. If, if anything, there can just be one right, right here. <laughs> oh, wait. Missed that. Uh, I... Yeah, okay, so those aren't in the original game. Those are... Uh... Egg containers? I don't know if they... What the official name is. But yeah, you just collect it and it gives you, like... I don't know. I, I don't know the amount. I didn't count. I didn't... Well, not count. I didn't, uh, look. Because it does tell you how much you collect in the top right. I just wasn't paying attention. Here's a sunken scroll. Oh gosh, we got another shield. Let's just avoid him. There you go. Nice. If you can remember from the first game, this area is kind of familiar. We have a squeegee. Squeegee suck up any ink that you put up. And down here, we got our secret, which in the original game was a sunken scroll. Not anymore. As you can see, we got another, I think I'm saying as you can see a lot. I need to stop that. But we have gotten another armor, which stacks up. The armor stacks up. Probably, can't remember right now, but I think it did that in the first game. Let's just ink up that wall. Skip the place we're supposed to go. And there's the Sardinium. Sardinium's gonna be really helpful in the future. Wait, does it do anything if you get three? The appearance didn't change, but I, I have no idea. We have another new special though. This is the Splashdown. It pretty much just makes a big shockwave of ink around you. Pretty epic. We got long sponges over here. She used these to get through. I really love whenever they do that with the blowfish where they just chain all the blowfish together. This is an octobomber which shoots bombs. Kind of obvious. That's amazing. I. Mmm. The blowfish, uh, chains. Really good. And there you go. Music heads are still buzzing over that legendary underground show two years ago. Anyone lucky enough to catch Dr. Octavia's opening set in the Squid Sisters head headlining had their minds blown and their life changed that night. What they are talking about is, well, of course, because I didn't get to it during my Let's Play of Splatoon 1, because <laughs> I kind of quit that. What happened was, kind of spoilers, <laughs> definitely spoilers, uh, during the final boss, Calamari's song, Calamari Incantation, was playing through it. Apparently during all of this, which this game, again, I think I mentioned in the last video, takes place two years 
later, this game play takes two years later. So two years ago, during the final boss, when Calimargi Incantation was playing, it has changed the lives of many Octarians and Octolings, including Marina from this, Off the Hook. So we have now gotten uh, some backstory on both of them. And what can be next? I wonder what other backstory we can get. But that's about it for this video. Uh, we're... Yeah, I, I guess I'll talk about some other stuff next video, but yeah, that's it. Uh, go check out the Discord, and goodbye.